we've reached out and tried to be open and it's been neglected and overlooked for offenses that were believed to have happened, but they never did. I feel overwhelming relief, but there is a little bit of a sadness. Cody is not showing up for his kids, not Savannah. Janelle is out of mind and out of sight for me right now. Yes, this is a struggle. My loyal wife and her children, we, we want something special. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday, March 7th, 2024. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. By now, the news has hit the internet and we are still covering the ongoing situation going on with the Brown family. A topic and a story that is being covered all over the media and all over the news. And without a crystal ball, we'll continue to report on this ongoing situation with the Brown family because we have covered sister wives for more than five years, polygamy, and the ongoing issues within the culture that the Brown family comes from. Our reporting will not change at this time. With that said, there has been a lot of news coming out. There has been a lot of details coming out. Yesterday, we discussed information that had been revealed in the police report that occurred on March 5th at the home of Garrison Brown. We revealed that there had been text messages that had been released or that had been provided by Janelle Brown to the officers at the scene and we discussed some of the details about what his garrison's roommates told officers about what had occurred in the hours and days before the tragedy transpired. And within that, we learned that one of the last text messages that Janelle Brown said that she, that Garrison had sent was a message to a group of friends or a work group. So there was a narrative specifically written by an officer which detailed their conversation with Gabriel. While Gabriel was actually being interviewed, Janelle arrived on the scene, and that's when they started speaking to Janelle. Janelle's, in the narrative, it says Janelle made the comment that he had just stopped texting last night when speaking about her son Garrison. She also made the comment that she should have gotten Garrison help in the past as well. She said that Garrison had sent a random text to a group of people that they work with. Janelle also commented that he is estranged from his father. The text message he sent read, I want to hate you for sharing the good times, but I can't. I miss those days. She then reached out to him over text messages between just the two of them at approximately 8.34 p.m. on March 4th and their conversation via text message was between 8.34 p.m. and 8.39 p.m. when Garrison stopped responding. At 8.45 p.m., she reached out to others to ask them to go check on Garrison, and that was the reason that game had come to the residence in the morning. Screenshots were provided of Janelle's text messages, and they were placed in the evidence under and uploaded into the file. Another interesting detail that we rev we heard was that after speaking with Janelle, and this is directly from the narrative written in the report, Gabe left the scene to pick up his father and return with him to the apartment. However, another family member went to assist and Gabe returned a while later on his own. I had the opportunity to speak with Gabe further about coming to the apartment and what he saw and what he did when he found his brothers. So that was, the context of what was in the narrative from the police report and this was a uh, report that was requested by without a crystal ball from the flagstaff pd and it is a media release to news outlets so it's a media news outlets police report and that's what i obtained yesterday the conversation was will the show go on how does the show go on will they address details about what came out in the police report will they discuss that he gabriel and his at least three Two of his roommates discussed that Garrison had been struggling with alcohol and was 
one calling him an alcoholic, another one calling him having trouble. One roommate said that his last one of his last conversations with Garrison occurred that evening. This is what's in the narrative. He described that they were cordial but not on the, but not best friends. He advised that he had talked to Robert who, who is Garrison last night around 1900 to 1930 and he appeared fine. He stated that Robert, which again is Garrison, mentioned to him that he drank a lot and was going to stop this month. He advised me that he did not ask Robert about it. So one of the last things Garrison tells his friend is, or his roommate is that he's drinking too much and he's going to stop this month. He also stated it was right after he got home that he was in the kitchen making dinner and he stated that Robert came into the kitchen to make his bagel bites and then they talked and he said that Garrison did not seem intoxicated when they had spoken. He also said that Garrison had issues with alcohol and asked that he stated that he did not know if Garrison was going to any counseling for any alcohol related issues. So his roommate says that he doesn't think that he's intoxicated and then his roommate Addison, who's closer to him, says that he was. And I don't know if they will review toxicology. So those were the details that came out that there was some struggles with alcohol abuse and uh, alcohol dependency. And then there was also some issues with his mental health. He was struggling with just not feeling being depressed and then had some issues with an ex-girlfriend and then estranged from his father. Going back to the portion of the report about Gabriel and how he was tasked to leave to go pick up Cody, it's very unclear what that what happened because it's just a strange add to the dialogue of what was going on at the scene. It's the narrative that the officer r reported and placed in the supplemental supplemental files of this incident. It doesn't state why he went. It also doesn't state why he came back without Cody. It doesn't state what other sibling went to go pick up Cody. It also doesn't state if Cody ever arrived. So there's, it's, it remains very unclear why Gabriel would be responsible to pick up his father after walking into an, a traumatic situation and having to contact authorities about his brother and deal with the authorities after they arrive and be a part of this very traumatic scene, why Gabriel would be the one to have to go pick up his father. I don't know why. Cody has his own cars. Cody has a lot of his own cars. Cody has a wife, although I don't know that Robin would have been welcome at the scene. Uh, he has other children that could have driven him. He has his own driver's license. Either way, that was just a strange detail about what occurred. Moving forward, we discussed yesterday, what does that mean for the show? Are they going to continue filming? Is there going to be a show? How does the show move forward given that there has been details that have emerged from this investigation that indicate there was issues that the show was not addressing and the family could have not been addressing these issues specifically to protect Garrison. Maybe they didn't want to talk about it. Maybe they're trying to, again, protect polygamy. Perhaps, as Cody would say, they were giving Garrison's troubles a cloak of charity and not revealing that. There's this belief system within their faith where it's all about, you know, being the best, being perfect, becoming perfect through faith. And sometimes that means putting on a face where you're only showing the good sides of life and really not digging in deep to the realities. And the family doesn't have to disclose anything on the show that they don't want to, that isn't filmed, that isn't off the cuff. Will the show go on given that we're now learning about possible mental health issues, dealing with substance, um, alcohol dependency, and now suicide? Now, some people have said in my comments that, you know, chop, building awareness for this issue is important but creating a storyline around it feels exploitative. The family is under contract with TLC and they may not have a lot of say or they may not have a lot of ability to not film. Although I would think that in a situation like this, they would have the 
given some space, at least from TLC, to not be forced to talk about anything that they don't want to. However, knowing the exploitative side of Cody, knowing the exploitative side of TLC, they are not going to look at this from a humanity side. They're going to look at this from a, a the exploitation of what's it going to do for ratings? Is it a storyline worth telling? Is it something that could help other people? And will people tune in? And unfortunately on reality shows, tragedies and tragic situations and breakdowns and divorces and deaths get good ratings. And unfortunately, I have the feeling that they will continue filming. And unfortunately, this is probably the last thing that Garrison would have wanted. But for Cody, the show must go on. And unless you're one of his favorite children, he will not shield someone from being exploited for profit. So according to an article on The Sun, they say that the family will continue to film the aftermath of his tragic passing for season 19. I already, I think that season 19 has already been filmed. So I don't know if they are going to scrap season 19 or if they are going to have to film quickly and add this to season 19. They are so far behind that it would feel very bizarre to show things that happened years ago knowing where we're at today and to have Garrison in episodes knowing where we're at today. And I just would like, I guess, to remind people that Garrison and his siblings are not paid to be on the show. So the kids aren't getting monetary benefit from appearing on the show at all. They're not receiving any financial incentive to appear on the show. Cody and his wives are the ones that are making money through their stories on the show because they are the principals. I'm just providing that information for context. So it says that they will film the aftermath of Garrison's tragic death for the next season. They released a statement that Cody and Janelle did on social media. This is what the source says. Despite the shocking death having just occurred, a source exclusive, exclusively revealed to The Sun that TLC cameras will be filming the aftermath of the National Guard vet's death. Family is always normally, is normally always filming, whether it's, an ac whether it's actual cameras or on their phones, sharing, referring to Cody, Janelle, Rob, and Christina and Mary. As sad as it is, his unexpected death came during the timeline of filming. The family is always filming. And as long as they're under contract, the network owns the rights to their lives, the rights to their stories, and the network gets to determine how the story is told and has the final say in editing. I'm just adding that in there. And since Garrison appeared on the show, his strained relationship with Cody was well documented last season and people loved him, the source claimed. TLC is going to want to continue the storyline and fans are going to expect to know what happened to him. They said, I can't imagine any of this won't be filmed. I just know how far, I just don't know how far this will go and how deep the family will get. It's such a strange concept to think that your life becomes a storyline. For a network, you know, like everything about your life is a storyline. It's a clip. It's a scene. It's a method to create content. And none of these kids consented to becoming part of that as children. And then as adults, yes, they participated. But I feel like with the boys, especially Garrison and, and Gabriel, their participation in the show was almost necessary because of how degrading Cody was being. There was a while that Garrison was rarely on the show. And then as soon as Cody and Garrison start having issues, Cody is talking about Garrison nonstop. And it almost seemed like the boys were forced to come on to defend themselves. Otherwise, the story would be told without them. Their voice wouldn't be heard. And then they're on the show and they're not getting paid and their father's making money off of it. It's just that part of it just makes me sad in that your life becomes a storyline. That's the part of reality television that's hard for me to come to grips with and understand. As far as what the plans are for his funeral, they said... The Browns don't lay people to rest quietly. It's always a big, beautiful celebration nine times out of ten. There will definitely be something. I just really hope they all come together and do it well. They also went on to share how Garrison will be remembered. They said he was a great kid. He was super cool, nice, really sweet guy. When I got to know him and we got to know each other and hung out, we always had fun. 
He was a great human and was really proud of himself and his accomplishments. Apart from him being devastated by what his dad's choices were and hating Robin, he truly loved his family. And he and Cody were remained estranged, even up until the end of his life. In the world of reality television, apparently the show must go on. TLC did express their condolences in a statement to given to People magazine. And given that the family has been utilizing People as one of their outlets to put out content for the show and help them promote the show. I do find it interesting that People has not reported any details whatsoever from the police report when every other media outlet and news outlet are reporting about it. People is the only one that hasn't reported a thing about the police report. It would appear that the information that has been put out into the wider media, if people were to publish it, and this is just my opinion, might impact the relationship they have with the network if the network doesn't want this type of information out there. The network expresses condolences and the family says that they want privacy and then the news is out that they were going to continue filming and everybody has a right to grieve and process their grief in any way that they see fit and I just hope that it's not a network that is pressuring a family to have to get on camera during one of the darkest and hardest times of their lives to have to speak to what has happened to them. Equally, I certainly hope Cody is not the one greenlighting this because Cody and Garrison's relationship was estranged. Cody was mad at Garrison because of things that Garrison said about Robin. Garrison felt abandoned by Cody. He had a very difficult relationship with his stepmother, Robin. And my only concern with filming is that Cody has a tendency to use the show as a vehicle to rewrite storylines and to paint things in a way that are beneficial to him. He also has a propensity to point fingers and to blame. And it just seems, and if we're going to go off experience with Cody, it would feel like he might blame Janelle or he might blame Garrison or he might blame everyone but himself. And then frankly, this is a situation where there is no one to blame when someone takes their life. But it's easy for families trying to grapple with that to want to blame or to want to figure out what happened and why. I could just see Cody using this as a way to try to rewrite history and make himself look like the good dad. Like he's going to come in now and like fix everything and try to be the best dad ever for his good guy image. And there's something really frustrating to me to think about Robin sharing her opinions about Garrison, knowing that Garrison hated her. And I feel like if anyone has a right to say what's happened, if anyone has a right to share their side, it is Janelle and it is his siblings. And that includes, and, and Christine has a right to share her side. Christine absolutely would have a right to share her thoughts and her feelings. But Cody's view on this would feel very, for a lot of fans, difficult because fans really, they were so sympathetic to Garrison. They loved him. They loved that he was standing up for his family. They Love that despite all of the adversity, he still would forgive Robin if they could just move forward. He was a likable person on the show. So Cody and the family are likely going to film the aftermath. Garrison's tragic ending will become a part of a storyline. And it'll be up to viewers to decide if they want to move forward and watch the show. Or if they want to tune out and be done. That's for all of you to decide and not my decision to make for you. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are about what we've covered in this video. As always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like content like this and hit, on, hit the subscribe button down below and so that you never miss a video. Bye guys.